everyone. The Great Dino Ranger here again, back with another review. Continuing on with the Christmas stuff, we're going to be taking a look at the second Dino Trackers figure that I got for Christmas, and this is the Gigantic Trackers Stegosaurus. So I'm really excited about this figure. There's a lot to talk about, especially with this new sculpt and stuff. But uh, let's quickly take a look at the packaging. So you got your normal Dino Trackers packaging that we have saw with the Indoraptor. You know, you got blue and beta in the corner, and you got the Jurassic World and Dino Tracker logos. And then you got the environment logo on the top right. For the Indoraptor, it was jungle. This one's mountains. So this is part of the mountainous and forest environment. Here on the back, we got the normal background with the Dino Trackers. You got a nice render of the Stegosaurus. Shows that there's tracking gear included, um, and there's side-to-side -side attack and an up-and-down attack, and it shows that uh, this the Sinotyrannus is another figure you can get within this line. So, very nice figure. Can't wait to take a closer look at it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it out of the box. All right, so here we have the uh, gigantic trackers Stegosaurus out of the box, and... Wow, this is actually a really nice Stegosaurus figure here. Um, I remember seeing the first pictures of this uh, toy, and I kind of fell in love with it. I know some people had some problems, especially with the colors, but I think everything about this figure is really nice, especially with the brand new sculpt that it has, which we'll get into more in the review. But uh, yeah, I mean, this this is kind of like a classic Jurassic Park Stegosaurus to me. And I'm not talking about classic as in from the movies, but like this looks like something that uh, that would you would just see randomly released into a, a store and it had no tie in with a movie, which is exactly kind of like what Dino Trackers is doing. But just the sculpt of this new Stegosaurus just kind of, I don't know, hits me with that vibe. But uh, yeah, this Stegosaurus um, is really cool looking. I'm really digging it. It's nice to add in another Stegosaurus to my gigantic herd of them, which I like doing with a lot of Mattel's herbivore dinosaurs is building herds and packs. But yeah, I mean, it looks uh, really cool. We're going to get into the Stegosaurus first before we get into the tracking part of this figure. And yeah, this is a very, ooh, very nice um, figure at that. Just really, really really highly detailed and the colors are really cool on this one um i'll get into more of the differences with this figure and the other ones when i get into comparisons but straight off the bat this stegosaurus is a brand new sculpt as i said before um i only say that because the entire body has like no scales unlike the past mattel offerings this one's just all wrinkly elephant rhino like skin which kind of, you know, the the texturing of this and the and the plates really gives me the vibe of a older, not really older, but like the uh, kind of like how Chatmay would have made their Animal Planet dinosaurs. This is the vibe I'm kind of getting off of that because maybe maybe it is the colors, but also just the the sculpt and the jaggediness of the the plates just kind of gives me that that classic. Chatmay Animal Planet toy feeling. So we'll start off with the head here. The head is uh, kind of like your typical Jurassic Park uh, Stegosaurus head, specifically Jurassic World um, from Mattel. I think this is like a reused head sculpt from the uh, the Dinoscape Stegosaurus, which we'll bring out again uh, towards the comparisons. But, you know, it has its mouth open. Really nice, you know, just kind of more smoother detail um, around the head. Not any paint on the beak, unfortunately, but it doesn't really look too bad. You kind of get used to it. But you get some nice little texturing here and there on, on the top and bottom. Uh, the eye is painted well. It's only just a red dot. There is no pupil on the inside. But again, when you look at this thing from afar, you know, it, uh, it doesn't look that bad. And having it with red eyes, maybe it kind of reminds me of what if this is like an albino stegosaurus, but I don't think it would be because usually an albino animal is usually kind of like a plain white color. This one has a bunch of different colors, but that's what, what it reminds me of. Heading towards the neck here, you got some nice, you know, little wrinkly sculpt work going on there. 
over the body and you got your normal typical plates there it's kind of slightly lazily painted it doesn't really continue down the full plate on this one here but as i said before from afar it doesn't really look too bad and getting into the body this is where most of the newer sculpt comes in so looking at the legs here it's basically your normal stegosaurus sculpt except just less scales and more wrinkly skin which is exactly what you can see on this arm right here nice uh, musculature and creases and crevices sculpted in very nicely feet are nicely sculpted toenails aren't painted but you know with it, when it comes to like these herbivores you're kind of is used to it it's like it's not something that needs to be done unlike uh your theropod dinosaurs got some nice texturing on the bottom of the foot there and then basically all throughout the body really nice scale detail or not scale detail um skin wrinkle detail you're kind of used to saying scale detail but there's not a lot i mean you get like little bumps here those might be scales or just large bumps in the skin but really nice texturing and it feels really nice when you rub your figure against it you got some nice like stretch movements here like on the top of the leg and here on the bottom of the body here and especially here on the underbelly you get some nice little sculpt work going on there really nice and you get like the nice kind of jaggedy lines that go up on the body that's a really nice touch and it feels really cool too and as you can see you got the more detail on the top here with the more scales there And down with the leg, nice muscle definition and some more nice wrinkleness. Reminds me of, like I said, of the larger mammals we have today, like elephants and rhinos. You can see the knees nicely sculpted. And the feet. Very nicely textured. Same with the bottom. You know, more of that wrinkly skin texturing. And here you can see across the tail, you got more bumps here towards the back of the tail. And just the more nice looking wrinkles. You got a little bit of scale looking texturing here. But, you know, that could just be more of the wrinkleness texturing. But yeah, I mean, it just looks really nice. And the, the thagomizers here are nicely sculpted. Very typical of Mattel spikes. And now getting to the plates. The plates are slightly different than last Mattel's uh, past Stegosaurs. Their plates were a little bit more smoother. These ones are a lot more pointed and jagged on the edges, which is another reason why it gives me like that Chapmay Animal Planet vibe to it. But I think it looks uh, really nice and all the plates are nicely sculpted. Really nicely done. And then it's the same thing with the other side. So you get the nice sculpt work going on there. And actually, the more I think about it, when I'm looking at this Stegosaurus, just the way it looks, like with the new sculpt and everything, it really reminds me of the canceled, uh, what was it? The canceled Dino Showdown Stegosaurus pack that was originally supposed to be released by Hasbro when they still had the Jurassic Park license uh, back in, I believe, 2013. I think that's when it was, when they released the Pachyrhinosaurus Clash and the Allosaurus Assault. There was supposed to be another set that would have came with a Carnotaurus and a Stegosaurus, but those were unfortunately canceled. This Stegosaurus actually reminds me of that canceled Stegosaurus pack because of the jagged like plates on it and just the overall wrinkleness and no scales i'll show a picture of it right now so yeah you can kind of see the uh similarities there obviously not too much in the colors but the sculpt work especially uh we'll get into uh, colors now the colors i know aren't everyone's cup of tea uh, some people don't really like the colors on this figure. I mean, it is kind of interesting to see a white stegosaurus. 
you know you don't see that very often usually stegosaurs are like a gray or a green or even a brown this one's a white color but i think it looks really nice and i like the the um added black color or the it's not really black it's more of a dark brown um based on the light source of my lamp here I like a dark brown coloration there and it kind of bleeds into the green plates with a uh, dark brown color so that really matches nicely and then these plates here on the front and the back are just a plain uh, solid dark color the uh, thagomizer spikes here are a lighter brown and you get like this reddish brown here on the side and goes a little bit on the leg and then a slightly different shade of a lighter brown on the face here so it looks uh looks really nice to me it's a very unique stegosaurus and the fact that this is part of the mountain foresty environment for this toy line i mean i can definitely see it being in the mountains especially you know in the snow this thing looks really nice in the snow um, and also you get the various different colors mixed in with the plastic all over the body it's all over the place it's like a mix of like this purplish bluish grayish color and then a darker brown that's kind of mixed in in random places called like it's, i think it's uh the marble effect uh, mattel has been doing this a lot with their figures and i actually really like it um, I think it adds to the more realism to the colors because, you know, sometimes you're going to get an animal that's not perfect and clean. You get some mixes of different colors here and there all over the body, maybe to represent a dirty look to it. But I think it looks really nice. And I really like how Mattel has been doing that with their figures. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally do. I think it you know, just adds to the cool color detail of this uh this figure so i think it looks really nice so yeah so far colors and sculpt are pure 10 out of 10 um in in my book um we'll also take a look at the new scan code feature on the stegosaurus this one is actually slightly different than uh the legacy collection dr harris dr uh sarah harding pack so with this plate right here, this one's more of a harder plastic, while these ones are made of a bendier plastic. But this one comes up like that, and you get yourself a Dino Tracker scan code. Whereas we'll bring in the other one. This is the Lost World one. Uh, this one is on a different plate this time, whereas this one would have been right here, but it's on this plate instead. You can see it's much more of a skinnier scan code, so you can see the difference there, which looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's really it for the scan code. Now we'll get into um, articulation and then action features. So the head here has really nice movement, which I think none of the other Mattel Stegosaurs have. This one is a lot more fluent. It can go down about that far, so pretty far. Uh, basically up and down and left left and right. Nice little looking positions. And it can also rotate 360. You know, you can get some nice ball joint movement here on the head here. And then the arms can go up about that far and back about that far, not too much. The back legs can on mine go about that far and forward about that far i do believe this sculpt kind of gets in the way of that and then just like all of other mattel dinosaurs the hips can pivot in and out and that's really it for articulation that's it's very limited but you know with these larger herbivores you don't really need a whole lot for dynamic poses and all that but just enough to kind of get the job done and the stegosaurus pretty much provides that now for action features uh, it's more of a tail swinging action feature, which is pretty typical for a Stegosaurus toy. Um, but the buttons to activate the action features are actually a lot different. On the body, you get two buttons. You get one button right here, in case you guys can see it. And then you got another one right here. So on both sides of the body, this button activates one part of the tail. 
tail swinging action. And then the other part of the button right here activates an up and down movement, which is very interesting. We have never gotten this with a Mattel Stegosaurus before, and it actually looks really nice. So the tail can actually is very loose and can move all sorts of different directions. And it actually looks really cool to see a Mattel Stegosaurus with its tail up. You don't get that with their other ones. So this is actually really cool. This would have made a really unique looking Stegosaurus if the tail was automatically up like this. So that's really cool. You can even see it on the other side. So yeah, that would have made, that actually looks like a really nice Stegosaurus right there. But, you know, it's good either way with the tail up or down. Now, let's get into the accessory that this Stegosaurus comes with. And it is the tracking gear. All of, at least these larger dinosaurs, come with tracking gear. Really hope more of the smaller dinosaurs get it. I know that a Trosraptor set comes with it, but hopefully we will get more. So this is a cool little tracking harness that the Stegosaurus comes with. And it um, feels really nice, too. It doesn't feel very flimsy. It's like a sturdy rubbery plastic um, but it's really beautifully sculpted with the, like the the straps here and the chains the screw holes are nicely sculpted so mattel went all out with this these large speaker looking things i don't know what they're they could be they could be lights too they now that i think about it they could be lights and he gets a nice little texturing detail and sculpt work all the way around looks really nice mattel went all out on this thing really reminds me of something you would see back in the old kenner days yeah just filled with nice texturing and detail so it looks really nice um and it's very easy to put on the stegosaurus it's not so easy to take off but it is easy to get on so if we lay it here I think this is the way it goes it just slides down and these holes go right where the plates supposed to be and it kind of wraps around the body you kind of get in here and you get two little notches which can uh, hook all the way inside of this uh, entrance here but we're not gonna do that so I can take this off when need be but you get the you get the main gist. You can just hook it on there, and there you go. You got yourself a Stegosaurus with a cool harness or tracking gear harness, and yeah, it looks uh, really nice in my opinion. All these Dino trackers really remind me of Dino Riders. If any of you guys know what that is, but yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. Really digging the whole Dino Tracker theme going on here. Now we're going to get on to comparisons. First, we're going to go with a, a human figure. Here we got Dr. Sarah Harding. You know, it's fitting for a Stegosaurus. So yeah, it's your normal Stegosaurus size. Fits perfect. The track and attack Indoraptor. These two, you know, um, both come with a uh, tracking gear, so these look really nice together. And now we get to probably the biggest part of this review, and that is comparing this Stegosaurus with every single Stegosaurus that Mattel has brought us um, throughout the years. First, we'll just bring up, you know, your normal, typical Stegosaurus. This one was uh, the first one that Mattel brought to us back in 2018. And you can definitely see the differences um, a little bit here. You can definitely see that these plates were a lot more smoother and rounder, and these ones are a lot more pointier and uh, jagged. And just the overall texturing is different. See, notice how this one is just covered in scales and just all over the body here. Whereas this one, no scales, but just wrinkly textured skin. So it's very interesting. This is like a completely brand new figure, whereas all the other ones were all like the same kind of. You never see around the head how different they are. And then we'll, before we look at the other ones, we'll bring in the Dinoscape Stegosaurus. This one's a slightly uh, newer sculpt than the other ones. Plus these two look really nice together since they all come with 
these cool harnessing, tracking stuff on them. This one comes with capture gear, as if the Stegosaurus was captured, and this one has tracking gear. Um, yeah, which so looks really nice, and you can definitely see this one's covered in scales, and this one is not. So very different looks overall, and the heads are, I think, slightly different. This one's obviously bigger, has a bigger head, but it might be just like the same sculpt, just scaled down. So yeah, a lot of neat differences here. And here is every single Stegosaurus that Mattel has given us throughout the years. Uh, adult Stegosaurus-wise, so not including the, the baby. But these are every single Stegosaurus that Mattel has given us. And this is a pretty nice looking herd going on here. All sorts of different colors. And yeah, they all look very nice together. Um, as you can see, we got the blue one here from 2018, Fallen Kingdom. And we got this one, 2019, part of the Dino Rivals line. And then this gray one here is... Uh, Part of the Camp Cretaceous lineup in 2020. And we got this Stegosaurus here, part of the Dino Escape toy line of 2021. And then this Stegosaurus from the Lost World of the Legacy Collection line of 2022. And then we got the Dino Trackers Stegosaurus of 2023. So pretty much we've gotten a Stegosaurus every single year since 2018. And it's cool to see how they've kind of progressed over the years um especially in kind of like colors and detail so mattel did a very good job with the sculpt on this one um but i mean they all just look very nice together um in terms of film accuracy i'd probably say all these three right here are film accurate you know you got this one from the lost world this one's more like the jurassic world variant and this one's seen in camp cretaceous but uh yeah, they all look very nice together. And I honestly hope Mattel gives us more Stegosaurus in the future. I'd love to keep on building giant herds like these. So everyone, that's about to wrap it up for this review. My final thoughts of this figure, I think it's a really great, solid Stegosaurus figure. I think it's probably one of the best from Mattel um, so far. I mean... We still have yet to get a possible Hammond Collection Stegosaurus, so we'll have to see how that one would turn out if Mattel ever brings us one. But as of right now, yeah, this one's probably one of the best. It's probably right there next to the Dinoscape version, in my opinion. Um, the tracking gear, I love. The colors and just the overall new sculpt for the Stegosaurus really makes it um, very unique. And uh, this... This figure is a is an A plus. It's a ten out of ten in my book, and uh, I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more um, Dino Tracker figures for this year. I'm really enjoying this line so far. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll see you guys again for the next one.